Yes, African News yakoze interview ku mukulembeze wa Fechagulanyi Center mu Robert ne eranga yonga yo African News ya highlighting ze mu byonna byonna Fechagulanyi Center mu Robert byayogedde nga NC bwe sazewo okugenda ne byemfuna okusinga engeri yate banansi jibabo na abonamu era jiba suffering am African News wetu ya wandi se that Bobby Wine world has chosen business over suffering Ugandans actually interview yade nunji nyo abami bano abakoze interview eno bamu sanze wali mu makage emagere iranga abawayiza mu ebintu binji of course byogede ku bintu binji nyo yetugenda okuyita mu yade one to one interview actually abaji turn is into a text let me hope they will also give us the video i'm you know still looking out to see a video you nenga know, so far kusa weno you know interview mu bwandi kiranga of course ngena jitam wa muna mwe egamba uh, wet of course actually ya day ya nya mugomu kaga this very year 2021 irange gamba uganda's opposition uganda's opposition leader chagula robert chagula ni center alias bobby wine has told african news that the human rights situation in uganda has worsened since the january 14 election veteran rura joel Museven was declared the winner of the controversial vote and was sworn in for another term in May. The election campaigns were dominated by episodes of deadly violence against Museveni's opponents and their supporters. Hundreds of opposition activists and the supporters have gone missing in a post-election crackdown by security forces. African News sat down with wine at his home in Magere near Kampala to talk about Uganda's unfinished election and his party's new role as the official opposition. African News President Museveni was recently sworn in for his sixth term and your party has become the official opposition given the political space in Uganda only opens today opposition during election campaigns what is going to happen between now and the next election in 2026 bobby wine first of all museveni's swearing in was illegal he is not a legitimate president and neither are we opposition our numbers of parliament were relegated to the opposition cut us off their numbers and cut us off the machination of the regime we said countless times that we are going to use every opportunity and every position elective moral religious or cultural to move forward our struggle for a free and democratic uganda and it's on that premise that our leadership decided to take up those positions in parliament and use them to agitate and advocate for freedom and democracy of course while that is happening, countless people are being abducted, are being arrested, and rights are continuously being abused. Then African News asks again, As a new party, how do you plan to navigate Uganda's heavily militarized politics? Bobby Wine answers, Well, Uganda's politics has been heavily militarized and commercialized. From where I stand, I am going to focus on mobilizing and enlightening the people of Uganda about their plight and their ability to make a difference on their own. While the parliament will be another front for our struggle, so should the population. African News President Museveni was sworn in despite hundreds of opposition supporters being in prison. Do you think the international community has paid enough attention to the situation in Uganda? Bobby Wine answers. The people of Uganda feel largely betrayed by the international community. While the international community professes values and rights and respect and upholding of uh, you know, democratic principles, they have largely betrayed the people of Uganda. It is clear to everybody that General Museveni is funded by the West. These funds are used to oppress and murder the people of Uganda. While the international media reports, international media reports about extrajudicial killings by the police, 
how the military is used to oppress and murder people the same military and police are constantly funded by the west so we feel betrayed by the international community which we are part which we are part of as the people of uganda african news Uganda continues to receive aid and recently agreed a major deal, a major oil deal with the Total, despite mounting evidence of human rights violation. Should foreign investment in Uganda be conditioned on human rights? Bobby Wine. As I said, we feel largely betrayed. We have constantly called on the international community to make respect for human rights, democracy, and the rule of law, a precondition for cooperation with Uganda. But, of course, as it has turned out, all these pleas have fallen on deaf ears. That makes us think that the international community is more concerned with business and not than values. It makes them partners in crime, abetting and supporting the, dem the domestic terrorism that is perpetrated by the Museveni regime. African News asks, you challenged the results of the January 14 election in court, but later we did do the petition. So, it can be argued that Mr. Museveni won fairly, and despite claiming you had evidence showing that you won, have you never have you never presented it for scrutiny? Bobby Wine answers. I presented all the evidence. I presented the massive evidence to the Supreme Court of Uganda, but the court rejected it because they were working on orders of General Seven. They bent every rule and abused every precedent that has been set by the Supreme Court of Uganda. By the same Supreme Court of Uganda. I have presented numerous pieces of evidence. The court declined it. I presented videos showing irregularities and I have shared them on social media too. It is the same evidence that the international community, the European Union, and the United States Department relied on to discredit and denounce the purported elections on the 14th of January because they were neither free nor fair. So that evidence has been there. It has always been talked about. This is the first time I am being told that I did not support my case with evidence. African News What lessons? Do you draw from the election, Bobby Wine? Many lessons, but in summary, I would say Ugandans are on their own. They are not supported and won't be supported by the clearly compromised state institutions, not even the international community. Ugandans are out on their own. Those that have the guns can oppress the people and nobody will hold them accountable until the people themselves decide to rise to the occasion and hold these people accountable. So, Ugandans are on their own. That's the biggest lesson I have had to learn. African News You told me in our interview shortly before January 14 that Ugandans were casting a protest vote. Are you still convinced that elections can bring about change in Uganda? Bobby Wayne For as long as the international community maintains the same attitude, a complacent attitude and as long as the people of Uganda don't step up, we might never see change through the vote. We just get a few agitators elevated to positions of power, of comfort, therefore claiming, uh, calming them down. But to get the fundamental change, it's going to take the people of Uganda massively getting involved, not only in terms of the election, but also in terms of asserting their right and asserting their will. African News You have a new song called You Have a New Song, Akatengo. In it, you say that the Ugandan regime has used the terror to instill fear among people and that they too should give their rulers fear. Are you calling for an uprising? Bobby Wine. Yes, I have always called for an uprising and I'm still calling for one. I have been clear I don't believe in violence. I believe in a constitutional uprising. This election was an uprising and I continue to call upon Ugandans to rise unarmed and assert their voice. So, yes, I am calling for an uprising. African News, thank you for your time. Basically, that was the interview between African News 
and our president Chagulani Sentamu Robert, you've heard it very well. All you can do is to spread this message because guess what? Most of this information remains here on you know these websites. It doesn't get a chance to be relayed on other media platforms that actually you know transport this message at a very terrible speed. Thank you.